Welcome back to the top-down RPG template tutorial series. In the previous video, we covered interactable actors. Today, we'll be creating projectiles and assigning them to skills and weapons. So let's dive right in. To begin, we'll create a fireball projectile. We'll start by using projectile base as the parent class to create the projectile blueprint. We can also add some cool particle effects to make it look even better. Next, we'll create a data table for the projectiles using the structure provided in the documentation. After creating the table, we need to replace the existing projectile data table in the corresponding composite data table with our new one. We'll add a row name and ID, ensuring that they match. It's important to remember that if the radius is zero, only the target on collision will take damage. Refer to the documentation for more information on the different variables. Don't forget to set the projectile blueprint here. I have already created the skill on the skills data table and made sure that it uses the fireball projectile we just created. The same skill is also in the active skill data table, and I have set an animation that will play when it is casted. Don't forget that in this animation we need to use spawn projectile notify state. After setting up the skill, we can test it out by pressing play. We should see the fireball projectile spawn when we use the skill. We can also increase the damage radius from the projectile data table and test it again to see it deal damage to all targets at once. Next, we'll create another projectile that is related to a weapon. This projectile will spawn when we throw the weapon. We'll add a static mesh and a rotating movement that will rotate the mesh when spawned. For the projectiles, we can override the on projectile collided event and define what happens on collision. In this case, we'll stop the rotating movement. Don't forget to assign the projectile blueprint on the data table. I have already created the weapon and added it to the item, equipment, and the weapon data tables. Make sure the weapon is throwable. 
Also, ammo ID is set to the projectile ID. Finally, we need to make sure that the animation list has a throw montage, which has a spawn projectile notify state. Once everything is set up, we can test it out by pressing play. We should see the axe projectile fly towards the targeted location when we throw the weapon. Thank you for watching.